Sorry to have you guys waiting. I was didn't know. <laughs> practices uh, what are your kind of impressions of the <laughs> well I think we're way further ahead with uh, ownership of the defense and just knowledge and understanding of what we're trying to get done uh, I really liked the first practice I thought we did some good things in the second and today was a little hot and cold for whatever reason so I got to figure that out with the new guys in the corner room that are making an impact younger guys well, there's some talented young guys that were with us last year that got to step up, you know, and Evan Johnson, Maury Bamba, Jaden Dunlap. Those are some guys that um, need to step up, and somebody's got to become a starter with Jacob Robinson. Um, and then, you know, Marcus McKenzie, um, he's out right now, but he'll be fine. Um, anyway, that group's got a chance. Mark Collins is someone that I know a lot about. Um, he'll add something to that room. So. It's a talented group. We just need to have those guys start to separate themselves on who's the starter, who's the backups. How do you feel about the overall depth you know, on year two of this defense? I mean, I'm sure you're never satisfied, but how do you feel? Has there been progress in that front? Well, I think recruiting is a huge part. Um, some of the young guys that have come in are some of our best players right now. Like he from Asiata looks really good right now. Uh, Viliami uh, Puha looks really good right now. Um, so I'm proud of some of those young guys that are stepping in. Uh, we got to continue to solidify starters, and that's what I've not seen in all the groups yet is just a, a solidified you know, 11. Um, and that's what spring ball and fall camp are for. But, um, and then we got guys like a Tyler Batty that doesn't need a bunch of reps. Uh, Jacob Robinson doesn't need a lot of reps. And so we, we have veteran guys. Uh, we need some of the other groups to just solidify who they are. With, just to follow up, with guys like Batty and Robinson, are you just – kind of taking it light, get them ready for the fall, basically. Be smart. Yeah, they still got to get better. Um, but we need to be smart with those guys. And um, it's, it's such a fine line because they got a lot of work they got to do so that they are their bodies are healthy so they can stay healthy. Um, but you don't need to wear them out. Okay. With bringing in a couple comments, mm -hmm. obviously you brought in Camden and Eddie last year. What made you decide to bring Mark? Well, Mark's a good mix of those two. I think he, he's... He plays a lot like Eddie. I mean, he, he's a dang good mix of those two guys. So um, he's a good football player. He's got athleticism. He's got physicality. He's got ball skills. Um, so, I mean, he'll be right there in the mix for sure when things are all said and done. Right now he's coming off an ACL injury, so uh, he won't be with us this spring. But um, he's way ahead of the game as far as his rehab. I think the trainers and uh, the doctors have done a good job with him. Kind of on the same lines. How is it? Uh, I was just curious. Have you prioritized getting Weaver State guys to come back and then play for you? No, or not at all? absolutely not. So, just just so everyone's straight, I've never, I can't talk to them, can't contact them, nothing. If if the right guys go in the portal and they're getting looks elsewhere, then um, then I've, I've looked at the right guys. There's been a lot of the guys that have gone in the portal and they're not the right fit here, or we're not taking that position group. So. Um, it, it's not just them. That's any that's any person that goes in the portal. We're going to bring the right fit in here for us. What strengths does Jack Kelly add to the defense? A lot. Um, understanding what we're trying to get done. He knows how I coach. Uh, he's looked really good so far. He's one of our strongest players on our team, and he's running really good right now. So I've been very impressed with him so far. I'm going to ask you this. He's a big dude. You yeah. Know, you prioritize the front seven. Like yeah. What does he bring to the size and he's got athleticism for has how big he is so i'm excited to see where he gets as he continues to get in shape and, and get game ready um i'm excited to see him play one question about the front seven like why did you focus so heavily on that? we got to get better um there were there were certain games in the big 12 where we either weren't big enough or stout enough or um just you know we didn't make the proper fits or whatever whatever reason we got to be much more stout inside than we were last year i think last year you rotated you know the guys up seven keep them fresh is that still going to kind of be the plan going into this well year? i mean i think everybody does that you got to keep your front seven fresh um we're not going to over rotate like like you know three or four years ago but um we got to keep those front guys fresh they can't play every snap especially your d line 
So we'll be smart with them. We need depth. That's why we talk about that all the time. And we need some guys to step up and solidify themselves as big time Big 12 starters. Pre safety, we saw Chica back there, Raider. Uh, how, how's that group? Uh, so I like the safeties right now. I think that that's a group that's progressed pretty good. Um, there's a ton of competition in that group with Talon Alfrey and Ethan Slade and Crew Wakely and Michael Harper. I mean, we got six or seven guys back there who started games. That's another group where this spring, you know, the cream's got to rise to the top as far as who's going to be the starter come fall time. How's Raiders' progress being being further very, removed from this mission? Very good. Yeah, and he's only going to get better and better um, the longer he's home from the mission and the more football he's played in this defense, he's only going to get better and better. Thanks, guys. Thanks, coach. Thank you.